Welcome back to Earn Money Online, the easy way where I teach you guys on how to make money online using just your phone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own app using your own smartphone, your tablet, your computer, whichever device you have. As long as it can access the internet, you can create your first app and publish it on Play Store. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step process. Let me pull up this because I want to show you. This is going to be, this, this is important. I, want, I don't know whether you're seeing this, but this is an important, this is, these are important to note. Yeah, this video, first of all, it is long, okay? This is a very long video. You should understand that. Why it is long, it is meant to take anyone, we, even someone who has never heard about making an app, it is meant to take you from where you are now until you finish creating your first app and publishing, and publishing it on Play Store. It is very long. It is a step-by-step -step video, okay? Once you miss any of these steps, then don't think that you're going to create any app, okay? It is a step-by-step -step process to take you from knowing nothing to when you know everything. It is so, so detailed. That is why it is even long, okay? We shall cover the following, okay? We are going to cover the following. We are going to see how to create the app icon and screenshots because there are different dimensions that you need to achieve before your screenshots are allowed or your app icon is allowed in, in, in how we, and how we are going to see it. So we are going to see how can you create your app icon, what should you consider, and how, how are you going to create your app screenshots, okay? Then after that, we look at how to create the app at itself. We are going to look at how you can create an app or a game. In this tutorial, I'm going to create an app for my website, but for you, I'm going to even show you how you can create a game which is already published, but you, you do it in a such a way that you can also republish it on Play Store, okay? And it is allowed. I'm going to also show you how to monetize your app how to make money, how you'll be able to make money from your app and how to upload your app on Google Play Console so that for review so that it can be published on your Google Play Store. So you will not find any single video here on the internet that will take you through all these steps, uh, all these steps, step by step. Me, I'm willing to do it for you. I'm just, okay, I'm new and I'm sharing, you, my, I'm sharing with you my own experience. I'm new to this game and I'm be sharing you with my own experience in this game. So what will you need? First of all, You'll need to create an app on App Creator 24. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this site. I'm going to leave all the links, by the way, all the links that are necessary for you to create an app, I'm going to leave them down in the description. So I'm going to leave a link to App Creator 24. You'll need this. You'll also need Google Play Console. You can see I've already published three apps. You'll need Google Play Console account. You'll need an account on Google AdMob. You see, my account is just new. I've just started earning from this. This is how much, uh, how much I made last month. This means that there is potential. Once you can scale up this, then you can make more money. I'm just sharing with the same things that I'm doing, okay? So you can, you will need an account on Google AdMob, and I'm going to show you how to create an account. You'll, uh, you'll need where you'll go, you're going to get, for example, me, I'm going to make a web, a, an app for my website, uh, faircommissions.com. By the way, for those who haven't gone through this training, you really need this training. It is now discounted at just $35, affiliate marketing training. And I'm going to create an app for this website. You can go ahead and check it out, affiliatecommissions.com. Uh, you even when you come to the blog section here, you can see there are different blogs that you can go through and you learn something for yourself, okay? I'll come back to this later. I think it is taking long to load. But this website is there to teach you many different ways on how you can make money online using your phone. You can take, you can go through the course you learn my step-by-step -step process, or you can even visit the blog section and you read about different articles that are do with making money online. It's taking long, let me go to another one. I'll come back to this. You will need this previewed, yeah, previewed.app. I'll also leave a link to this in the description. It's called previewed.app. We are going to use this website to create screenshots for our app. Then you will need an app generator, yeah, an app policy, an app private policy generator, App Privacy Policy Generator. I'm going to also leave a link to this website in the description, and I'm going to show you how these dots connect to each other. Then you're also going to need, uh, let me close this. You're going to need, uh, also this one is not important. You're going to need Canva, yeah? You're going to need canva.com because that is where we're going to design our app icon from, yeah? Then also you're going to need maybe, if you want to create a game, you're going to need this website, crazygames.com. I'm also going to leave a link to this website down in the description. I'm going to show you how you can use it to make your game to, or to, to create your own game. Okay? So, first things first. 
we want to create an app icon before you create an app icon you should know what you want what you want your game to look like or what you want your app to look like okay what is the game icon what is the app icon app icon will be this one here by the way, I'm going to leave a link to this forex trading for beginners. It is a it is a free course. It is a very very detailed course, free course for those who want, for those of you who want to learn uh, forex trading from beginner to expert. This is the best course for you. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You can go ahead and download this app. So this is the app icon. This app icon has different dimensions. So first of all, you need to know what am I going to create? Am I going to create an app for a website? Am I going to create a game? So you come back here, for example, in this, in this tutorial, let's say you want to create, you want to replicate a game, which is here, yeah? Maybe let's look for maybe these ones which are new or popular, top rated, let's look for this one, which is top rated. It's called Shell, Shell Shockers, yeah? Shell Shockers. So maybe you want to create a game about, you want to also replicate this game. So what you're going to do, you just have to click on it. Remember, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. You can go ahead and visit this same website in the description by clicking the link in the description okay so if you can see here first of all you see that there is what we call a url we shall need this url here because we shall need it to link to this game because remember we want to create like a game which is similar to this it is actually a replica of this and we publish it on play store you understand so first of all you need the the icon how is the icon going to look the icon should look like almost similar, but not exactly the same. Let me go back. The icon that you're going to create should look almost similar. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Shell, shell shockers. So the icon you're going to create should look almost as similar to this, but not exactly this. So how are you going to do it? Now that is where Canva comes in. Okay. After knowing the game that you want to create, you go to Canva and you create an, a game icon. In this case, okay. I've told you, for you, you're going to create something which, which is almost similar to this, or you can create your own unique icon, create your own unique icon that you're going to use in your app. So me, I want to create an app for my website. Let me go back. And you can see, uh, this is the blog section it has loaded. So you can see there are many blog articles here. You can come and uh, read through these blog articles. They are really very important. They're so, so detailed and they can help you. Apart from buying the course, you can also go ahead and visit the site this the blog section and you learn a lot of things okay this this web this course is discounted right now even you i have allowed part payments you can pay in person you learn but that is uh, all about i want to create an app icon for this course okay so i'm going to go to canva I'm going to go to canva then i will search for uh, i will either search for app icon or i will come here where it says create new create a design here Create a design. Now you should be you should watch carefully because an app icon has different dimensions. For example, you can see these app icons that I've created before. They are 512 pixels by 512 pixels. So you shall come here on create new, create new. Then you come where it says custom design. You see this? This is the same process on your phone, by the way. Don't worry that I'm using a PC. It is the same process on your phone. So you come to customize. Customize size. So here you will put 512, 512 by 512 because that is the size of the app icon on Play Store. So you go ahead and say create new. Now it is going to go ahead and create a new, uh, a new page which is 512 by 512. I hope you understand now. So you can see this is the size it has loaded. So the height is is 512 and the length is also 512. So this is the size that you need for an app icon. Now, what you're going to do is to go ahead and create your app icon. How? For example, me, I'm going to go ahead and maybe search for a logo. Let me look for logo. Here on the side, you can go and, and search for logo, logos. So five. Uh, this Canva, Canva is going to show you different logos that you can go ahead and customize. For example, there is this one here, Line Tech or KC or whichever. This slide, you can choose the one which is uh, which is appealing for you and you create your own logo, you customize it your own way. For example, let me choose this one. You see? So I've chosen this one. I'm going to go ahead and customize it. So now that we've created our app icon, 
we need what we call screenshots. What are screenshots? These are the ones that I mean here. Okay? These are the screenshots that are meaning. You understand? So this is where you will need another website called preview.app. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to this website. It is called preview.app. I say it is good in creating these screenshots because you can, as you can see from this, these screenshots are really good if you can see. Yeah? So we are going to create these amazing screenshots using this app called preview.app. It is a website, but it's called preview.app. Okay, so once you create your account there, because you'll be required to create an account, after creating an account, you will come here on use cases, then you go to app store screenshots. That is where you're going to click app store screenshots. Once you click there, it is going to load templates here down, or you can choose from the ones that are not shown. Okay, it is going to load templates, or you can click here to browse templates. Click here to browse templates. Okay, so you can see these are different screenshots that you can customize. You can come here to browse all templates. We are going to create screenshots. Now remember, what you should do is either take screenshots, because let me first show you these screenshots before we make them. You, When you're using the uh, game or the app that you want to create, for example, you should take screenshots on your phone. Yeah, take screenshots on your phone. As you can see, these are some of the screenshots that I've already taken on my phone and I've saved them. Either you can save them on your phone if you're using a phone or on your PC if you're going to use a PC to create these app screenshots. Okay? So you can, if you're playing the game, you can go ahead and take screenshots of you playing the game. You take those screenshots and save them. Around five to six screenshots, there will be enough. Or five to eight screenshots, there will be enough to create these screenshots. If you're using a game, make sure you take those screenshots while you're using the game. If you're using uh, maybe a website, take those screenshots when you're using the website. It is the same process. You can see these are some of the screenshots that I'm going to use in creating those screenshots for this app, okay? These are some of the screenshots that I'm going to use, okay? So, after saving those screenshots on your phone or on your PC, now we are going to come to this app called, to this website called preview.app. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Now, we, you can use any of these templates. For example, I'm going to use this first one here. Let me use this. You can click on it. Then here down there is where it says edit template. You see here, edit template. So I'm going to click on edit template. It is the same process on your phone, by the way. Don't worry that I'm using a PC. As I'm repeating this for you to understand that even on your phone, you can do this that I'm, going, that I'm doing here. So here are the templates. They load. Then what you're going to do is just to customize the words. Yeah, customize the words, customize this. So I'm going to click here. After clicking here, another side menu appears and I can upload a screenshot by choosing file here. So let me choose file, show all files. Let me go where they are. Let me, let me click where they are in a folder in the desktop. So I'll select this one. Then I select here to either stretch or contain. Let me select and contain. Yes, use image. So you're, you're seeing how it appears. Immediately it appears here. Yeah, it appears. Now you can even increase on the size of this. Or you can, you can even delete some of these. Or maybe, let me delete this. You click on it and press on delete. Delete element here. So let me go ahead and make sure i turn this in the right angle yeah it is like this yes okay now i'm also going to do the same here i choose file So after you've added all the screenshots, now you can go ahead and customize, tweak here and there to make sure your screenshots really look amazing. For example, you can change the background color, you can change everything that you want to do with this, but you can go ahead and personalize also these wordings, okay? So yeah, they are say you can go ahead and personalize these, these words, you can go ahead and duplicate this, yeah? You can clone this, to also bring another one here maybe, like that, like that, okay? Let me also clone this bring another one here, so the ones that I'm going to edit. So you can go ahead and edit this. So you can also go ahead and change the background of your screenshots. 
by clicking here on this icon for example i'm going to select linear and i'm going to choose maybe which one fits best this one oh let me choose this one maybe oh jesus uh let me choose this one and i see this one yeah i think this one is good so let me go ahead and stretch this to fit so when you when on this six on these options when you're selecting your stretch it stretches to the whole screenshot okay so let me select it again and it stretches you see how it has stretched even this one you'll see the reason as to why we need these screenshots later as we are progressing stretch so within just a few minutes we've created our app screenshots okay so this is the same thing that you're going to do when you're creating the game this is the same thing that you're going to do when you think about creating anything okay is the same thing that you're going to think about so after you've created your screenshots you can go ahead and now download go ahead and download these screenshots make sure you select jpg or png okay make sure you select jpg or png but the best is png then you select on free You can see it has downloaded. Now, the next thing we have to do is to create screenshots which are which are made for tablets. For that, we shall need Canva again. Okay. Come back to Canva. Why am I taking time to teach you these things? Because if you don't get them right, your app won't be published. It will be rejected. Canva. For 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 screenshots which are to do with tablets, you will need to select. Uh, you'll need to go to a custom size of one 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 thousand nine hundred and twenty by ten twenty. Nineteen twenty by ten twenty. That is the size that we are going to go for. Nineteen twenty by ten twenty. So here it will be nineteen twenty. By ten eighty. Where and create new design. So this is the design that we are going to create. So first of all, you need to to search here. Uh, you search anything which is to do with a mock-up, maybe tablet mock-up, tablet mock-up, tablet mock-up, you're going to get a template, for example, this one here, this one, after you've selected it, you go ahead and now modify it, create another duplicate page, then go ahead and modify it accordingly to what you want and that is what i'm going to do using the screenshots that i took before so you just upload them here okay you upload them in your canva after uploading them now you can use them tweak the colors tweak the words to make them your own okay try to manage them as your own that's what i'm doing then after i'll download this So once you've gone ahead to create everything and it is done, I've made a few changes because the ones that I selected before, they were premium features which couldn't allow me to download them. So now once you've created your mockups, you can go ahead and now download these. Remember download PNG format. now once you've created your icon you've created your screenshots it is now time to create the app as you can see we are following our schedule as i told you this is a step-by-step -step process for those of you are just who don't want to watch to the end then you want to go ahead to make this to, to create this app so here you can see we have finished this first step now you're going to the second step on how to create the app so i've told you you're going to use app creator 24 and i'm going to leave a link in the description to this i already have an account but you will be asked to create an account by using just your email address and creating a password. So me, I'm going to go ahead and sign in into my account.
as you can see here, for me, I've just created, I've already created some apps that are already even on Play Store. But for you, you won't need, yours here will be empty and will be shown only this option of creating the app, to create an app. So go ahead and cre click on create app. As you can see, they are asking you to give it the app name, okay? App name, okay? So here, if you're creating an app for the game, then I expect you to give it a name which is enticing for other people to go ahead and, and use the game. Of course, for example, if you're creating maybe this game, Shell Shockers, maybe you can put something like maybe Shell Crackers. They're almost the same, but they're not exactly the same because if you create using the same name, if you create an app with the similar name that is already existing before, they will reject your app or they will reject your game. So go ahead and select a game or select a name which is relevant enough, which is close enough for the original one, but not exactly the same. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create, since I'm creating for my own website, I know there isn't any app that has been created before. I'm going to name it maybe uh, Learn Affiliate Marketing or Affiliate Marketing for Beginners. Affiliate marketing for beginners, okay? Then here they are telling me to choose an app icon. Remember, we first made an app icon. So I'm going to click on choose, file. Then here I'm going to select this one. And it will be selected, okay? Then here they are telling me to add app description. App description. Now here we are going to use another one, another website, called ChatGPT to, to generate for us an app description. So I needed to go ahead and search for ChatGPT. Or I'm going to leave a link down in the description. If you don't have an account there, I'm going to leave a link in the description that will take you to ChatGPT straight. So let me go ahead and search for this. If you don't have an account, click here on sign up. But me, I already have an account. I'm just going to log in. So this is how ChatGPT looks like. So here you're going to tell ChatGPT to generate for you an app description for your specific app. For example, I'm going to tell you to generate for me an app description for an app which is for learning affiliate marketing. Let me type it. So I've told ChatGPT to write for me an SEO friendly app description for an app named Affiliate Marketing for Beginners. This app focuses on teaching anyone their marketing strategies to enable them make a passive income via affiliate marketing. So I'm telling ChatGPT to write for me this app description and I press enter. And it's going to go ahead and write for me an app description, which I can put in the other section that you saw. Okay, so you can see it has generated for me this app description. I'm going to copy this. Highlight the whole, everything. I copy, then I'll paste it here in the app description. You see how easy it is? Then I press on next. So once I reach this step, they are, they are requiring me to choose the type of style that I need, okay? I'm going to choose this blue. You can choose any of these, and I say next. Then here they are asking me which type of app am I making? So in this section, we are making an online app or an online game. As you can see, these games here, if you chose to create any of these games, remember they are online. So we are selecting online. Even my course is online. That's why I'm going to select web app. Okay. I'm going to select web app. Even you, if you're, if you're following me closely, you're going to select web app. So they are, they are telling us to give it the title. I'm going to name it. Then they're asking us for a web page. Now, remember why I told you that you need an a URL. In this case, let's assume that you are creating an app for this game. So when you click on it, here up you will see there is this URL when it loads, okay? When it loads, you're going to see this URL here. This is what they want, what they're asking you for. So in my case, I will go back to my website and I click on this URL, okay? I copy this URL. Control C. I bring it here. I put it here. That is the URL that they are requesting you to put in. Even you here, you're going to go ahead and copy this URL and take it the other side. 
I hope you can understand this, okay? So, after putting in the URL, we say next. So, you can see now, our app is created and we can go to the app manager. So, click here on go to app manager. So, you can see you can now download your app. It is already available. But we have to make a few changes so that it, we make it enticing. Even if you click here now, you can go to your app and you download it. You understand? But let's first make a few changes. For example, when you come here on general information, general info, on the name and icon, you can see the name appears, Affair Marketing for Beginners. Event has already made for us a package name. You can see this is the logo, Affair Marketing Course for Beginners. The logo that we added before. The not notification icon, we are not going to add this, leave it. Screen orientation, leave it to auto so that anyone can change it, either to landscape or what. When you come here on general, because this is where we need to change a few things, you can see your app description is there. Show notices about updates, yes. Leave everything as it is. Then we come here down where it says privacy policy, okay? Privacy policy. Now this is where you'll need a privacy policy generator like this one that I'd shown you before. I'm going to also leave a link down in the description to this page, okay? So here you put in the app name, okay? Contact information, here you put in your email address. Then, which information are you going to collect? If it is an online game and you don't want to collect any information, leave it empty. But if maybe like for me, who is creating, a, who is creating an app for my website, and I'm going to be collecting, for example, information about the email address and the name. So I'll put in the, I'll select, I put in, I'm going to be collecting the name, email address, and location. Maybe even profile picture. Yeah. So here they are telling you to select the app type. Click here. Mine is going to be free. It is going to be a free app. Then also they are telling me to select the OS. I'm going to make it for both Android and iOS. You can select whether it is for only Android or iOS. Here, police effective. Then select the owner type. Owner, I'm going to select individual. Here, still down. Developer name. I'm going to put my developer name, which is Dix. Developers, I'm going to show you how you can get your developer name. Okay. You go ahead and click here on the next button. Then you select the services that will be attached. For example, I'm going to connect AdMob. It's going to be for Google Play services. AdMob. This one here. Maybe even Facebook, we can select it. Go ahead and click on next. You are all done. So here, click on privacy policy. Here is your privacy policy generated within just one second. Okay. So you can click here on mark, uh, mark down. After marking it down, then you can go ahead and copy this privacy policy. Copy. Then you come back to app creator and you paste your privacy policy here. Oh, I've not copied it. Let me go back. Copy. Bring it back here. You can see it is now it is now put here. So we have already created an, a privacy policy for our app. Okay. So you go ahead and unselect this, uncheck these two. Uncheck all these three options, then click on save. It's saving. Yeah, it has saved. Another one where we have to go ahead and make some uh, changes is here on design. Design. Then we look for menu type menu type here this menu type has to be changed make sure you select without a menu otherwise if you select any menu here your app will will have an a menu which you which people will see so go ahead and save click here where it says uh main icon make sure this one is saved that is the main icon of our app Current is this one, so save. Or even if you don't save, leave it. Then here on loading image, loading image, 
make sure you remove the loading image. Otherwise, your app is going to take long when it is loading. Remove the loading image. That is good. Now, once you've done all these changes, it is now time to go to the next step. If we can come back here, we go to how to monetize your app. Because before you release it or before you download it, it has to be monetized. So to monetize your app, that means for you to earn money from your app, you will have to connect what we call Google AdMob. Or you connect any ad network that will make sure ads will be displayed in your app so that you can benefit from them. As I've told you, I've just created uh, uh, two apps that are already launched. And this is how much I add. I think I created this. It was released on 20, 27th or 28th. But you can see I, I earned 0 0.12 in, in Feb because Feb was, was ending on 28th. Yeah, It hasn't been downloaded so much times, but I'm also going to show you how you can increase traffic so that your apps are downloaded. Okay, so create a, an account on Google AdMob. What you'll do is just to search Google AdMob. Then it will be a straightforward. You will just log in with your, say, with your account. Now for your Google AdMob account to get verified, you need to put in the payment details. After you've created your account and you land on this dashboard, here it will be empty, it will be zero, zero. Then you'll go here on payments, you add a payment method. <clears throat> After adding a payment method, it is when Google will review your, your account and later approve it, okay? It will, it will review your account and later approve it. It can't show because you can see, these are my earnings so far, 0 0.14, and this, my account is already linked, it is here. So you'll be required to put in your what? You'll be required, to go ahead and put in your payment details and you verify. You'll be required to put in your uh, your bank statement. Uh, you'll be required to verify using your ID after your account, after you submit everything because they'll be guiding you step by step. Or you can go ahead and watch a separate video on YouTube on how to verify, on how to create an, a Google AdMob account. In, in, time, in case you want to uh, save time, you can go ahead and go to YouTube, search on how to create a Google AdMob account I know there are very many videos that are already there which can guide you. Now, your, your account will take around three days to get verified, okay? And I believe on the same day, go ahead and create a Google Play Console account, okay? Go ahead and create a Google Play Console account. You can also watch a separate video on YouTube on how to create a Google Play Console account. But you should, in, in your mind, you should bear that. To create a Google Play Console account, you will need at least $25. You'll be charged. $25, which is a one-time fee, okay? Go ahead to YouTube, search on how to create a Google Play console account. Now, I believe after watching those two, you already have a Google Play, a uh, Google Ads Mob account, and you already have the Google Play console account. Now, it is time to link your app that you've created to your Google Ad Mob, or to give it some, or to, uh, to make sure you get some apps running into your app, okay? Some You get some ads running into your app. So we shall go back to Google Ad Mob. I'm assuming that you've created your app, okay? I'm assuming that you've created your app. When you go to your Google Ad Mob, click here where it says Apps. Click here down where it says Add App. Okay, Add App. So they're asking you which uh, which app is this? Select a platform. It only allows one platform. You can tick both. So mine, I'll select Android. Then uh, they're asking me, is your app listed, listed on a supported app? No, it is not listed because we haven't put it on any app on any app store. So I click on continue. So they're telling us to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to give it a name, Affair Marketing for Beginners, because it is the name of the app. So go ahead and select this, make sure it is on, and click on add app. Click on done. Now they will be asking you to add add units, okay? Add ad units. What this means is that they are telling you to create ad units so that your app, you can link them to your app so that your app starts showing adverts. Okay? What do I mean by adverts? I know most of you have been playing games and you see an advert pop up or maybe you see uh, maybe a video pops up and you have to close it. Those are the adverts that are meaning. Okay? So you go ahead and click on add ad unit. Now here you're seeing there are banner ads, interstitial, rewarded, interstitial, rewarded. Then native open, app open. So all these are, are the types of adverts that will be showing in your app. For example, you're going to select on banner. When you select on banner, you can give it a name. Maybe I'm going to name it affiliate, affiliate marketing banner. You give it a name. 
you click on create add unit now you can see the add unit has been created so i'm going to go ahead and copy this copy this add unit i go back to my app creator now i'll scroll down to where it says ads you see this ads i hope guys you're following because if you miss any of this then you can't link everything together so here they're asking you to put in the ad mob id uh, ad mob ad unit id and this is the ad mob ad unit id this one you're seeing here okay this one here down so you copy this you come back here you paste it here this is a banner ad it will be showing here down yeah so this the ad position is bottom size is normal show ad mob in chats no here down they are telling you to create an interstitial ads unit so you're going to come back here say done so you create done then you come back here on add another ad unit now this time we select interstitial and we name it affiliate interstitial click on create ad unit then also copy this ad unit id come back here interstitial we put it here then here you can say maybe it should show every maybe every two pages uh, maybe uh, every 20 messages sent yeah it, it is maybe okay so when it is in games whenever a person plays maybe for three times or two times it should show when whenever show on app launch always i can say always every time then they are telling you native ads in user profile so go ahead and also create a native ads unit add an ad unit after everything go ahead and save So here they're telling you in order add mob ads to appear, it's required to enter the add mob app ID in general info, then to the section of name and icon. So what you're going to do, go ahead and come back here. You go here on app settings. You will see your app ID being uh, being uh, seen here. Okay. So copy this app ID. Come back to your uh, to your app creator go to name and go to general info name and icon here down you will see where it says add mob app id so go ahead and select add mob app id and paste it there go ahead and save now remember when you're creating an app for play store you make sure you select generate apk and a and dot aab after selecting this, go ahead and click on save. Click OK. So when you come back here on download app, you'll see that the details about your app are here and it will be in queue. Okay, it will be in queue. So just wait until the queue is finished until it reaches zero. Just wait. Meanwhile, as it is doing this, now go to your Google Play console account. Okay. So you shall come back to your Google Play console account. I believe by now, maybe you will watch a video about this. You Maybe you can pause here, go and watch a separate video on how to create a Google Play console account. When you reach this step and you log into your Google Play console account, it will be here down to be zero apps, okay? And you'll be seeing this option of create app. So go ahead and click on create app. So here they are telling you to give it the app name details, okay? So app name is Affair Marketing for Beginners. Okay. So is this an app or a game? Maybe the language you leave it at English, US. Then they're asking you, is this an app or a game? If it is a game, select game. If it is an app, me, I'm selecting an app because it is an app, not a game. Is it free or paid? Mine is going to be free, okay? Then make sure you select all these two options here down and you click on create app.
So you can see the app is here. It has been created already, but you have to continue uh, continue customizing it. So you'll scroll down and you look for where it says set up your app. This is where you're going to go. Make sure I click here to see these other two, uh, these other tasks that are there. Here they're telling you to set the privacy policy. So click here. Yeah, they're telling you to give that to bring your privacy policy URL. That's why we created a privacy policy in our app creator. So go back, app creator, come here on general. Go here down and you see this privacy policy link. Okay, make sure you copy this. Copy it. Now bring it here and paste. Okay, then click on save. Then go back. S set your app access. Click on set app access. So click here. It says all functionality in my app is available without any access restrictions, and click on save. Go back. Click here it says, where it says you for you to specify the ads. If it contains the ads, then clarify. Say my app contains ads. Okay. Click on save. Because we read, we read, we've created, we've linked AdMob. If you don't select this option and you select no, yet you've already linked AdMob, your app will be rejected. Go back. Content rating. Make sure you go through this questionnaire. Start a questionnaire. Email address where you want to be connected uh, or, or maybe uh, whenever they want to connect you. Make sure you put in your email address here. I'm telling you to choose a category. Mine is all other apps. Yours, you select a game if it is a game or if it is a social media network. Click on next. Is uh, so the best options here to choose no, 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 because they read through and select the one which is corresponding to you. Okay. After choosing the relevant ones, click on save and click on next. So here you'll be, you'll be shown your rating and then click on submit. After submitting, go back. Target audience. Make sure you select if it is for all, but if you've linked the Google AdWords, make sure you select. If you've linked AdMob, make sure you select these three. Don't select these ones which are under 12 and below. Okay, if you've linked adverts, don't select these ones that are below 13. Click on next. Click on yes here because they're asking you whether it could be listed for uh, children, whether it could appeal to children. Then click on next. Then click on save. After that, go back. Go to news app. They're asking you whether it, it is going to be a news app. Select no. Go back. If it is a news app, select yes. But if it is not, select no. It is available for COVID-19 testing and tracking. You select no. Continue. Go back. Data safety. Now, this is where this is the most important by the one data safety. Please pay attention. When you reach data safety, they're asking you whether you're collecting user data. Okay. So click on next here to go through this questionnaire. So they're asking you, does your app collect or share required data data types? Select yes. If you click no, trust me, your app is going to be rejected. Click yes. Okay. Then asking you, is all the data encrypted? Click yes. Is there a way to retrieve data? Click yes. 
If you select no in any of these options, your app is most likely going to be rejected. Click on next. Now you are going to ask you which data types does your app collect. Make sure you come here down and you click on devices and other IDs. Show. You click on device. Your data your app collects device and other IDs. Click on next. Even if you don't feel any other data type, you feel that one, your app will, is going to be approved. So here they're asking you if it collects this, then state on how it is going to be distributed. Click on next here on this icon. Say my app collects. You can select no here or yes, any of these options, no matter, okay? Then users can choose whether this data is collected or turned off. Then this, this information is required maybe for app functionality, analytics, developer. Mine, it is going to be required for, you, you will choose your own options, but mine is going to require this data for all these purposes. Marketing, fraud prevention, personalization, all these purposes, okay? Then also account management. Maybe personalization is not there, but maybe account management. Click on next, save, next. And then here they're asking you data share. They are giving you a brief overview of what you've entered. Then you click on submit. This step is important. If you miss this step, your app is definitely going to be rejected. Go back. Government apps, they're asking you whether your app is a government app. Select no. Save. Go back. Then come here, select app category and provide contact details. So here you're going to select, is it an app or a game? You've selected it is an app. What category? Mine is learning. Education, yeah, is for education. Then tags, you can choose as many uh, as uh, like five tags which are related to your app. So choose up, up to five categories that really apply to your app. Then click on apply. Then you're down there asking for your email address, put it there. Phone number, make sure you put it there, beginning with 256 or your country code. Your website, it is not a must. You can leave it, or if you have a website, put it there. Me, I have a website, let me put it there. Make sure you tick this option and click on save. Go back. Then come to this last option, set your store listing. So here they're asking you for an app description, okay? This is the short description. Then for the long description, I can go ahead and copy <clears throat> my description that had been put here, that I have put here from ChatGPT. Let me copy this description. Then come back here and paste it here. Okay. Then graphics. Graphics. Now we come to the first number one section that we did. The icon and the screenshots. So come here and click on upload or oh, go ahead and select where your, where your app icon is. Click on upload. It is here. So I believe you can see how automatically it has been approved. If you miss the first step, then your, your icon here will be rejected. Okay. If your icon is rejected, please revisit the first section of this video and you make your icon to be specific with those dimensions that I've, I gave you before, okay? Here down there asking for screenshots, as you can see, featured image. We forgot to make a featured image. Featured image is like this one. Let me show you an example of a featured image. An example of a featured image is like this one. And you're going to see its dimensions. 
We forgot to make this from the beginning. I don't know how I forgot, but we are going to make it together. So I'm going to go back to my Canva. Let me look for an example of a featured image and I show you the dimensions that we need. For a featured image, we need 1024 by 500 pixels. So you come here and create new 1024 by 500, create new, customize 1024, 1024 by 500. Create a new design. So here we are going to add maybe, we are going to go to uploads and we add maybe our, we are going to add our what? Our logo and whichever words you feel they are enticing. So let me do this first and I resume later. So I've come up with this, uh, with this, with this one, and I can go ahead and download the PNG format. Now, once I have that, now I can come back here, and I upload it here. Featured graphic is here. As I told you, once you get the dimensions right, your graphic won't be rejected. But if you get them wrong, it will be rejected. You can see. Here down, they're telling me to add the screenshots. So I'll go ahead and click on upload, but let me first get them. So as you can see, these are our screenshots. They need all, only two to eight screenshots. So I'm going to select all of them. And I drag them here. Now, once you do all this before you start, it becomes easier in the end. Okay, at the end, it becomes easier. So they are loading. I know they will be accepted. You see, they are accepted. Now we are still down. They require to put screenshots for the seven inch tablet. Go here and upload. Or you just drag and drop. They are already here. So I'll select them, drag and drop. Otherwise, if you don't do this from the start, you will get disturbed when you reach this step. So it is important to do all this from the start. Okay. As you can see, they have loaded, okay? They are there, there are two. Here, they are, you're going to put screenshots for 10-inch tablet. Still, they are the same size. Just drag and drop again. If they are on your phone, then you just have to click on upload, and you go to where they are. You upload them, okay? After this step, we are almost finishing. We are going to the launching stage, okay? Now here down, you click on save. Okay. You can see how it has been updated here up. So go back. After you go back, you can see the app icon is updated. Now we got here, release your app. We go to this step for releasing our app. Okay. So click on view tasks. You'll select the countries and regions that you want your app to be given. Go here on add countries slash regions. And I usually like to select every, every country there. Select all and click on add countries or regions. Add. Yes. Then after that, click here which says create a new release. Now, here you'll be seeing they're asking you to upload an app bundle. You see this? They need an app bundle. Remember when we said let it load here? Remember when you said let it load up to zero? Yeah, so if you can refresh, you see that the, our IAB file dot AAB file is available, and that is what they need here. They need you to upload an AAB file. If you can see this AAB file, so you're going to go ahead and click on download AAB file. Once your AAB file is downloaded, you can say show in folder. 
it is here it is showing in folder okay if it is on your phone still it is the same thing it will be downloaded to your downloads folder so you'll come here and upload it here okay so let's upload it it's here let me upload it drag and drop or you can click on upload and you select it okay so this release name will be updated here automatically yeah it will be uploaded then here you can just put a few words in this sentence here maybe this app is available available for everyone for everyone you need android versions four and above okay see that let it load before you close this make sure you don't close this page before it loads completely okay and for those of you who want to learn forex trading which is a step-by-step -step process this is a detailed course it is for free make sure you go and get this course it is for free guys you can learn forex trading in detail step by step until you become an expert trader so go ahead and download this app i'll leave it the link in the description or you can go ahead and search for it maybe after a few days it will be available on play store you can search for it when you see this icon here make sure it is the one you download this one here make sure it has this icon then you can download it okay it is available on play store but meanwhile for now you can download it using the link that is in the description download it or go ahead and search it on play store if you can find this app go ahead and download it if you can't find it use the link in the description it is a detailed link it is a detailed course about forex trading so you can see everything has loaded yeah everything has loaded so go ahead and now click on next once you click on next you will be presented with this page where your band will have loaded then you have to click on next to proceed after clicking on next you have to wait it loads so this this is the actual the final step you're seeing here they are giving us a, a they are saying that we've not connected the countries so the only option is to go back to production and come back to countries or regions then we add countries or regions here down me i'm going to select all the countries because i want my app to be available in all the countries so i'm going to go ahead and select this to select all the countries then add countries click on add it is loading so all the countries have been added and i know now my app is ready for production so i'll go back to click on release overview that's where i'm going to go back i click on release overview to check whether my app is ready to submit for review because this is actually the final step okay let me click on edit release and here down i can see i can go ahead and submit now go ahead and submit next again and i'm actually now submitting it for review start start roll out so let me see this error this is a minimal error the app apk what this is a minimal error even if this one you don't submit it will be published so let me click to roll out and now my app has gone to review so of what we've done so far we've created our app we've uploaded it on google play console and we submitted it for review after review and it is successful our app is going to be published on google play store so that is how you're able to publish an app if you can go back here you'll see that the app we just created right now it this one here it is in review if you can see here on update status it is in review so we've submitted it for review when it passes the review then it is going to be published on play store on google play store so that is how you can create an app and you publish it so if you like this video please leave a, a thumbs up what, what does it take i've taken time to teach you the things give me a like subscribe if you're a new sub if you're a new person to this channel subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos if you have liked the content share it to your friends so that you can benefit together don't be mean okay don't be mean so i also leave a link to this course to this forex trading for beginners course down in the description it is a detailed course step-by-step -step free course you can download it if you want to download your apps go to app creator 24 you will see the many apps that you've already created you can download them on your phone to test them out share with share them with your friends to see how they function on your friends phones because by clicking here on download you click on the app then you go to the download 
and you can download using this icon so if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up guys give it a thumbs up give me a like comment in the comment section which section was good for you which section was hard for you and maybe i can guide you on a one-to-one -one basis then if you want to contact me personally you can use the number on the screen contact me there see in another video